So, is everybody doing okay today? Monday night? Oh, thank you, Marta. Did you have a good day? Uh, we had some sun here in Tyresö, Stockholm today. But um, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, we're going to uh, have some colder weather this week. No fun at all. But yeah, it's um, still April. Good morning from New Zealand. Wow, 6 a.m. Oh my God. I can't remember the last time I was up at 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy, Marta. I'm hoping to show you something that you will uh, remake because this is not very difficult. Uh, this is probably the easiest uh, fade ever because it's not even a fade. I will show you. Uh, I'm thinking we are uh, gonna get started. Hi from Florida, 2 p.m. Well, that's better than 6 a.m. <laughs> Here it is 8 p.m. Am I right? Yeah, p.m. At night, um, well, evening. Hello from Denmark, hi. Uh, we are gonna get started. I am gonna grab a tip. Let's see. Let's grab this one. Oh, that's too small. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Um, I thought that we would do this uh, with the colors that I have used here and on my nails. Um, yeah, just because it's easy. Uh, but the, you'll see when we do it uh, that it's... Um, the best thing about this is usually when you do a color fade, you want the colors to kind of match so they're easy to blend. But with this, you don't need to worry about that. You can take two very different colors, um, as you can see here. It's a gray and a kind of apricot stuff. Um, and it works perfectly. So that's the good part. And we are gonna put... Uh, I need... Uh, maybe this one. Okay. You would think that I could have uh, prepared this, but I did not. So, here we are. And a baby for an alarm clock, but it's a win win. Yeah, Jessica is dedicated, exactly. <laughs> 6 a.m. That's harsh. So, there we go. And I am just gonna buff that. And uh, this is a built-in design. So, if you're doing it on a client, uh, a thin extension or just a thin base coat to start with because we're going to build up uh, the milky part. And we are ready to start. Hello Lena. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start with the gray. Doesn't really matter which one you start with. And I'm gonna do it on top. Okay. 
kind of almost halfway and I'm not even gonna use like an ombre brush I'm just have like a fluffy it's pendulo hobby so it's not even for nails it's just I think it's for watercolors actually so something like that and I'm gonna pop that in for a flash cure. Such a mess today. Stuff all over the place. And there we go. I think I'm gonna do another coat to get a little darker on the top and the same thing like that so not perfect faded at all just smooshed really and then we are gonna go in with the apricot peach color and I'm gonna do that on the bottom and just the same as you can see not at all perfect faded but it doesn't matter because we're gonna cover it up and just one more coat so did you guys have a good easter I'm guessing you had some time off. Well, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. In Sweden, we have, um, well, the holidays. Um, and those days are off from work with pay, usually, if you don't run your own business <laughs> like we do. <laughs> uh, but I don't know how it works uh, in other countries. Do you have that, like paid days off from work when it's like uh, Christmas, Easter? Hey, Erika. Ja, än så länge är det väl inte superfint, men det ska väl bli i tanken. Vi, vi hoppas det. <laughs> um, so, for the next step, I am going to be using a kind of milky white uh gel and kind of loose um low viscosity so it's kind of runny and i'm gonna have a brush there we go so this is where we're at now not so pretty and i'm gonna take the white gel it's not cover white it's kind of a milky and i'm gonna do a very thin layer all over. Senare liga. Så. Like that. And now I am gonna take like a blob and put it in the middle covering up the bad fade <laughs> uh love all the time off recently time to work hard now yeah that's right we're coming up on spring and summer and those are busy times. 
I'm guessing you work as a nail tech. I'm just assuming here, but. I'm gonna let that just kind of float out for a second. And we are done with that one. Yeah, kind of like that. And I'm gonna pop that in the lamp. And as that is curing, I am gonna take a little palette. And I am gonna take a kind of, I don't wanna call this a milky gel because it's not, it's very, very light milky. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, yeah. It has a touch of white in it, but not much. And I'm gonna grab kind of decent amount, uh, enough to build up the nail. We can say it like that. And I'm gonna put it down there. And oh, I am gonna grab a glitter, glitter gel. Oh my God, that's hard. <laughs> um, you can choose any glitter gel, of course. I kind of love this one. Not very much. Here you kind of decide how sparkly you want the nails to be. I kind of liked that it was kind of scarce with the, with the glitters, not too much. It doesn't feel like it's a glit glitter nail, just to kind of touch a glitter yeah so but you decide i mean you can go, go full on glitter if you want and we are gonna mix this together there you go Put that away. So, I have my little glitter mix here, and we are gonna build the nail with this mixture. My stomach's talking again. Every time I do a lie, my stomach's talking very loudly. <laughs> Wowie! Glitter! And just make sure that you build up the nail. You can, of course, go over this again with clear if you want to. I just didn't want to do it in too many steps. And this worked perfectly for me. So, ooh, messy. Exactly like so enkelt. Men so snicked. Just making sure that we are covering everything because we're gonna file this and we don't wanna file away the color underneath. So make sure you have gel all over. I'm gonna do that upside down for a second. I am the kind of nail tech that spends an obscene amount of time perfecting the gel because I hate to file. So I kind of make sure it looks as good as possible before I pop it in the light. And there we go. And that's really it, you guys. We're gonna, of course, file and top coat. Um, but I think that the trick is to do the milky white part over the actual fade 
and then mixing the glitter gel with I think maybe um, the fiber gel from Light Elegance. It's a good base to mix it with. It's also kind of, I don't know what to say. Grumlig in Swedish. What's that in English? Not quite clear. <laughs> Final is just real quick. I'm gonna put that away in case we want to use it again. Cloudy, yeah, that's a good word. Oh my god, <laughs> I think my trousers just broke. <laughs> yeah, okay, the zipper on my pants just broke. Luckily I'm, I'm all alone in here so nobody can see me. <laughs> simple but so effective. Exactly. And that's what we love you guys. Simple but beautiful. Why is it so hard to file the tips? And I don't want to ruin my nails. I could have worn gloves, but I did not. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Dust up the dust. Clean up. Dust everywhere. And let's top coat this bad boy. Am I right? This looks so good in matte. I'm sorry, I just have to look at it. I had such a hard time choosing when I made my own nails if they were gonna be matte or shiny. Just look at that. I think it's so pretty. Gorgeous. Yeah, but we're gonna make it shiny. You guys actually voted on this on my Instagram story the other day and I, I have to admit that um, shiny one I am absolutely a matte I'm team matte all the way um, but yeah shiny one this round There you go. How quick and easy is that? And freaking gorgeous. Maybe we should do another one with some fun colors. I think so. We have a lot of time left. Mm. Let's do another one. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Um, so what colors would, should we use? Give me some examples. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> One more is coming up. Arrange this. 
lila. Yes. Well, purple is absolutely the color of spring 2022, I think. I don't think I've ever used as much purple as I have this spring. Well, I'm always a sucker for green. Maybe we should do green and purple. Yay! Let's do that. I have no idea if this is going to work because I haven't tried it, but I'm confident, I think. <laughs> I am just going to buff up the tip. and pink yeah that's a good combo rosa eller lila yeah but i think we're gonna go with the purple and green that sounds like an awesome combination um ba -ba 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 -ba. which green should we use maybe is this too i don't know Awesome. Yeah, I think I got it. Let's go. Um, oh, okay, green on the bottom. Is this maybe too soft? Yeah, we'll see. We're experimenting now. I have no clue. Flash cure that. I think orange and pink, um, if you would have asked me like two years ago, I would have died just by the thought of it. And now it's one of my favorite color combinations of all time, especially in the summer. Orange and pink with some gold-ish glitter. Oh my god, that is so pretty. Mm, fade a bit more. And flash cure. So, you guys gonna try this out? I'm hoping. I wanna see all of Instagram explode with glittery color fades this week. <laughs> I almost forgot my coffee. Hmm. And some purple. Yeah, this is gonna be good, guys. This is gonna be good. Yeah, something like that. Exactly, Moonflower. If you do try it, uh, please tag me and Moonflower so that we can see it and we can share it. Because sharing is caring. And we love to do that. And we love to see what you make. Yeah. I am going to pop that in the light. And cure that. So we need the milky white 
gel. Did I put that away? Um, no. Whoa, there. <laughs> ja, det är bra. Du ska tagga mig. Du ska tagga mig, Liga. So, the Milky White. And you can so easily make your Milky White gel yourself. Uh, both of these, actually. Both the one that's more white and the other one. Just take some white gel and some clear gel and mix them together. And you decide how much white you use. So, super easy. Something like that. I'm gonna let that spread for a second. I'm gonna pop that in the light. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's um, Valborgs Mesoafton this weekend. Am I right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know, is that a, a typical Swedish thing or do you celebrate well, May 1st, really, I think? And the day before May 1st, we um, <clears throat> kind of light a big fire and gather around it and drink beer. <laughs> I don't know what else we do, really. So you guys celebrate Valborgs Mesafton. So we get our mixture. I think I'm going to have to make some more of that because... That won't be enough. Build the nail. Something like that. What is the milky white product being used in the jar? Uh, well, I'm using two different ones. One is much more white. The first one I put down in kind of the middle. And the other one is much more translucent. The one I'm mixing. Which one do you, do you mean? There it is. I'm gonna pop that in the light. The more white one. Well, uh, it's called Milkshake and it's from 
base one, I think it's called. Uh, but as I said, you can easily make your own. Uh, just take some clear gel and some white gel and it can be color gel and it, and it can be builder gel and just mix them together. And um, you create your own mixture so you decide how milky you want it. Very easy to do. So I'm gonna put that away because we're gonna be filing a bit now. God, I'm loving this, guys. I am loving it. Just look at that. How gorgeous is that? I love it. I think I'm gonna have to force some clients tomorrow <coughs> to wear this color combo because I absolutely love it. Just look at that. That is gorgeous. Maybe we should keep that matte. What do you think? We could do 50-50. Let's do a 50-50. We're gonna do matte first. Actually, do that in this one as well. I actually do this on all my uh, uh, color swatches. Uh, that I have for my clients. Uh, I do this 50-50. Uh, so I show everybody all the colors in both matte and shiny. And that's a kind of good way to get clients to do matte nails. Because most of them can't really w visualize uh, a color and how it's going to look in matte. So that's a good way. Never. <gasps> yeah, it's not my day today, guys. Absolute breakdown. There we go. Shiny. No straight lines here. Doesn't matter. And here. <laughs> this is 
verkligen. Ja, jag kände att jag också reagerade extremt kraftigt på det svarta. Jag var lite chockad. To show you guys, I got a little package in the mail today. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, new Moon Flare crystals! So freaking exciting! So there are different colors here. Can't really see them all, but they are absolutely gorgeous. I think these are called flame. Am I right? Yeah. And there are different colors. Just look at that. I am dying. <gasps> and there are shapes. Fabulous. The drops and squares and uh, flame, I think it's called. Yeah, gorgeous. Nova Flames, yeah. Nova Flames. Absolutely gorgeous. I am gonna dig into these and make something fun. They are not released yet, uh, I think, but yeah, very soon. Keep an eye out. So here you go, guys. Stunning, gorgeous, gorgeous, super fun. Yeah, I love this. I love this color combination. That was absolutely fantastic. Uh, the Nora Flames include six different colored flame crystals in three different sizes. Yes. So pretty, I guess the galaxy on Instagram moves, I thought it was right. We will become a creative beauty in Canada. Okay, um, I think maybe Tesso should answer that. I have no clue. But I'm guessing they should be available to all the, the resellers, I think. Uh, well, I think that was it for today. We are gonna let you guys go on with your evening. Essential shape is classic moon flare crystals, but in the shape you won't vote it for small and large ring up square, diamond, navette and flame. Yes. Will this work with neon colors too? I don't know. Um, well, the harsher the pigment on the colors, the harder it is to get a nice fade. Uh, and since this kind of hangs on this kind of milky effect, uh, my guess is that it's not really gonna be the same. I don't know. Try. Try it out. Let me know. Just um, either tag me or send me a DM with a picture. I would love to see that. Uh, why not really? Well, yeah, I don't know. Try it. And please, please, please let me know. Just send me a DM or a picture or something. Um, and I would love to see that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, and if you try it or uh, try it with neons, tag me and Moonflare and uh, I would love to see what you make and what color combinations you come up with. And 
Uh, don't forget to check in next week. We have a new girl every Monday doing a live. So you get to learn something new every week. <laughs> and on Thursday, we have a Moon Player Takeover. I don't know who is doing it this week, but um, that's always a good time. So check that out. Don't miss it. And uh, don't forget to look out for the new crystals launching soon. So thank you for tonight, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you later. Bye-bye.